Today I will clone the hard drive to the solid state drive. We need to connect the SSD to the computer. There are many ways to do it. I used USB SATA adapter. Now download the free program called Yomi Backupper Standard. Choose if you want to download it for Windows 7, Windows 8 or Windows 8.1 or for the older Windows version. Once downloaded and installed, run it as administrator. Click on Clone. Select Disk Clone. Choose your source disk or the hard drive you want to clone. I want to clone the hard drive on this computer I'm using right now, so I'll select that. Next, choose destination. That's going to be SSD we connected to the computer earlier. Because we're cloning SSD, it's a good idea to tick Align Partition to optimize for SSD. At this point you could click on Start Cloning, but you might want to change the size of partitions. Now this is optional, because you can do it later in Windows, but let's have a look at it. Let's click on Edit Partitions on Destination Disk and select Edit Partitions on this disk. As you can see, there's this small partition called System Reserved. It's a hidden partition that is used by Windows. Because our SSD is smaller than the hard drive, not the other way around, for some reason that small partition is bigger than it should be. If we go back, we can see that originally system reserve partition is around 100 megabytes, but on our SSD drive it's going to be 561 megabyte. Because I'm using a small SSD drive, I don't really want to waste any space, so I'll shrink the partition to the size it should be, or a little bit bigger. Now I will use that extra space to join it with the other partition. Here it says it's a drive F, but later, once we actually use the solid state drive on our computer, it will be a drive C. Let's press Start Clone. It will take a while, so grab a cup of tea. Alright, so cloning has finished. Now I can swap the hard drive with solid state drive. When you will first boot into Windows, Windows will detect your solid state drive and install the drivers. After that, you will need to restart your computer. Well, that's it. You have successfully cloned your hard drive to the SSD. Well done. This video is sponsored by Majewell, your video capture solution.